Today, we are buying people's lost luggage and returning it to the original owners. I asked you all in an IG story if you've ever lost anything while traveling, if so, what? Turns out a lot of you have lost sanities, a surprising amount of virginities, and so many of you have lost literal humans. <laughs> I can't help you with any of that, unfortunately, but there were several items that I think I might be able to help you track down. And to do that, we have to go back to the only place in America that you can buy unclaimed baggage. To the unclaimed baggage store. We are joined by a YouTuber that you probably all know and love, Sophia Nygaard, a professional treasure hunter. Treasure chest, more like national treasure. Mother of Franken products, connoisseur of questionable fashion. I couldn't think of a better person to help with this. Hello, friends, and welcome to the baggage store. This is not sponsored by the way, Unclaimed Baggage doesn't even know that I'm making this video because I don't think they'll like it. <laughs> They're not exactly in the business of returning stuff to the owner. We already did a tour of the store and a little bit of shopping. You can check that out over on her channel after you're done with this video. I'll link it down below. So now that we have a good idea of how everything's laid out, we're gonna dive in and see if we can find some stuff. We have a list that you guys sent Hope. We're gonna be looking for some stuff. So after we hopefully find all of these items, I'm going to be mailing them back to their owner. Watch the whole video so you don't miss their reactions. You guys have already seen on Hope's channel how many items there are in there. There are also now a lot of people in there. It's busy, it's Saturday and everyone is here. We are starting in the clothing section. There's surprisingly not a lot of clothes that have been lost, at mm. least specific clothing items, but Colleen did lose her pink Michael Kors blazer. So pink that's where we're starting. Michael Kors blazer. What's our margin of error here? If we get Michael Kors or pink, like. <laughs> the clothing section of this store is so extensive, but we decided to start in the Lux Fine section. Liz Claiborne purple petite blazer. Not quite. Red checkered blazer. How about short sleeved feathery blazer? <laughs> this is, we're, we're, we're losing the plot here. Oh, Michael Kors bag. <laughs> we've got blazer and we've got Michael Kors. Would you accept a consolation prize? <laughs> well, Colleen. It's not looking good, I'm sorry. But I did find something for the next person. Peyton lost her Lululemon blanket scarf that's gray, which sounds like a phenomenal item to travel with, so I really hope we can find this. Is this it? That's not a very good scarf selection. Do we think there's a winter scarf selection there has somewhere? To be. This can't be it. The people at the store were so nice. Are there winter scarves anywhere? Hmm, let me go see if we have any in back, back shop. Oh, back. Ah, backstock. They pulled the whole bin of winter scarves from the back. Thank you. Oh, All right, here are some winter scarves that have been summoned. But no luck, not even anything close. Thank, Thank you so, so much for not. digging those out though. <laughs> However, there was one more section that I thought we could check. Ooh, they have some nice Louis Vuitton ones. The designer section. Couldn't find your Lululemon one. Here's a Louis Vuitton one instead. <laughs> I said that jokingly at first, but that's a good consolation prize. How much? 300. Listen, I hope Peyton likes it. <laughs> Louis Vuitton, Lululemon, they both start with L's, right? Hello, Tyler. Hey. Are you eating a cookie? Yeah, I got a cookie. Hope and other Tyler are hungry. Can you get them a cookie? Get in there. Oh, you guys want a cookie? We're headed to the toy section because a couple people lost toys. So Dora, when she was five, she lost her mermaid princess Barbie doll and she's been really upset ever since. So, That's so we're weird. gonna try our luck. I feel like I had that one. I feel like I did too. They have princess Ariel outfit. Close. This is the, it's the right some idea. Some of the keywords are overlapping there. We've got something. No luck. But the other day I was at this random market and I found it. This one has the crown. <laughs> I'm so sure this is Dora's exact mermaid princess Barbie, so I got it for her. Raquel's daughter has a Disneyland, a Disney World bucket hat that she loved. All right, let's see, hats. Hats are kind of scattered around. There's a pretty big section over there. There are some hats here, but they're all kind of like sun hats. Yeah. There is an Orlando, Florida tote. Close. <laughs> <laughs> we searched every inch of the store and the closest thing to the Disney World bucket hat we could find. Oh, I saw a hat, hold on. Okay, it's not a bucket hat, but it says Walt Disney World on it. Maybe, let's see it. It's ye bright yellow. It That's looks cute. nothing like the hat we're describing. <laughs> I don't know how these people are gonna feel about these replacement items that we're finding. <laughs> it says Walt Disney World. And Weird. it's new with tags. New with tags, neon plastic brim. Like what more could you possibly want? Honestly, it looks cool. I'm gonna sell this hat. <laughs> Moving on to accessories. You guys have lost some nice accessories. Elizabeth lost her Marc Jacobs sunglasses. They're okay. really cute ones. They're kind of 
big bulky fashion glasses with a gold side. They have a ton of sunglasses in this store, but I think this was the wrong section. These racks are all pretty much $5. There was also like a high-end sunglasses section. There definitely was, was it, it was over there, wasn't it? So we had to go to the designer sunglasses case that they have upstairs. Okay, yeah. this could be promising. A lot of like lost designer sunglasses. I wonder what those ones back there are. Those are Gucci. Are they? Yeah, they are Gucci. Yeah, I think like, the vibes are the same. Yeah. I think so too. So these are not the glasses that Beth lost, but we'll see if she likes them. Speaking of Gucci, one person lost a Gucci belt, which is so devastating. But even more devastating is I cannot find that person anywhere. <laughs> they must have changed their username since they answered that question or they blocked me. So uh, I'm gonna give this little gift box to one of you that's subscribed. It includes some unclaimed baggage store gear as well as the Gucci belt. Moving on to shoes. A few of you lost shoes. I'm a little bit confused about how you managed to leave the airplane without your shoes. Okay, this next one is oddly specific, but Sudnya lost her copy of Twilight and red flip-flops. Oh, romance. This might be erotica though, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> we couldn't find Twilight, but here you go. Couldn't find Twilight, found a bunch of erotica. Plus Twilight is so popular that I'm sure they get them in, but there's a pretty quick turnover. There's one, is there one called Thirst? Looks like that could be about uh, vampires. Yeah. We even went out to the bargain bin section. Rancher's Wild Secrets. Okay, no, but more erotica. Hope just found this. Two wealthy rancher romances in one book. <gasps> Two in one. One is called Rancher's Wild Secret. The other one is called Hold Me Cowboy. Sensual. Basically Twilight. I mean, we got a lot of other people close but no cigar gifts. So like, I'm just saying. <laughs> Red flip flops? Red flip flops. Let's try. Unclaimed has an entire wall of flip flops. They have every color but red. So they, these were the closest ones we could find, so. They are definitely red and they're definitely flip flops. So Erica, Erica lost her mom's leopard print Lanvin ballet flats. There were so many animal print shoes. So similar. Yeah, that, that one's really close. But none appeared to be the exact ones we were looking for. Okay, so Ko lost their Bose headphones, okay. which is a tragedy because those yeah. are so expensive. They have quite the selection of them. They have a lot of them, actually. I honestly don't know what the newest ones would be. Maybe the NC 700s, if I had to guess. This one? Yeah. Okay. One ninety nine. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. A win for Co. Bailey lost her Polaroid camera. It was a gift for her eleventh birthday. So, oh. <laughs> Polaroid camera, and it's brand new, and it's really cute. I think that one's a winner. Yeah. Okay, all right, so that and then games. We are specifically looking for a couple of vintage gaming systems. These ones might be a longer shot. So mm. Kat is looking for a Game Boy Advanced and then Haley a Nintendo DS. You sold the only two DS. No! So they had neither. But this guy that was working was extremely nice and helpful. Once again, I think those are just items that when they do get them in, they sell really fast. We have a couple miscellaneous items like Druan needs a 64 ounce light blue hydro flask. Mm, 64 ounces. That's Wait, big. isn't that huge? This is this is 64. So it's not heavy. a hydro flask and it's not blue. Oh, here's a light blue something. That's not a hydro flask though. <laughs> Utah. That's mm -hmm. 32, 32 ounces. That's not a bad idea. Remember at the entrance too, there was a bunch Ooh. of them. Yeah, let's try it. Wait, 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 wait. That looks good. Yeah, this is a hydro flask. Oh, it's 32. Yeah. I like that it's one. Cute. They yeah. picked good stickers. Yeah. So Druan gets two little hydro flasks. <laughs> and I also threw in an Amazon gift card if she wants to go buy a new 64 ounce one. You are set for life on water bottles, Druan. <laughs> okay, this last one is really, really special. If I couldn't find anything else, I have to find this one. Somebody lost their Louis Vuitton backpack that was a gift from their fiance that passed away. Um, and then are these all the Louis Vuitton bags that you have? Unfortunately, no backpack, but all hope was not lost. I hope you guys like the stuff we found. If not, we tried. We tried. <laughs> we checked out with all the items we did find. I would still call this hunt a success. Friends, your items are coming to you. And when I got home, I opened up Unclaim's website because the items that they have on their website are different than what they have in the store. Lee, you ready to do some sleuthing? Pink blazer. Okay, we've got a couple more options than we had in store. No Michael Kors though. Lululemon scarf. Mermaid Barbie? Nothing. <laughs> Disney hat. I'm really trying here. 
All right, Louis Vuitton backpack. Okay, we've got a few Louis Vuitton things. Passport cover. Wow, nice suitcase. Oh my gosh, those shoes are cool. Ah, dang it. Well, that didn't go well. I'm gonna see what else I can dig up online. It might not be her exact backpack, but it might be nice to have a similar one. New, they're $2,700. That one's cute. Okay, I'm thinking this tradesy one is the best deal. I'm gonna go ahead and get that one for her. Oh, a coupon? Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes, honey, come through. Oh, I'm so happy. Maybe it's not the exact one that got lost, but hopefully they still like it and appreciate the effort. All right, well, all of the items have been mailed out to their owners. I'm just waiting to see what they think. It's been a couple weeks. Everybody has been sent their lost items. Well, almost everybody. Scott returned to sender. It's the Twilight books and red flip-flops. I bought the entire Twilight series off of Amazon to put in the box so that it wasn't just the flip-flops. And while I think it was a nice gesture, it was probably the weirdest one out of all of the things I sent. So maybe it's a good thing that they didn't get it. Anyway, <laughs> let's see if they like them. I haven't watched any of these yet because I wanted to watch them together. Let's see if Beth liked the sunglasses. I messaged about something, but it feels way too heavy to be about what we messaged about. <laughs> no, it's probably the thing. I just packaged it really extra. <laughs> I went to the unclaimed baggage store in hopes to find your glasses, but failed. I did, however, find these Gucci ones. Whoa, look at those. Oh, they look so good. <laughs> I'm so glad she likes them and wasn't just totally weirded out. Next, we have Peyton's scarf. This replacement was a little bit of a a stretch. What the heck? That is so nice. This is beautiful. No, that's not for you. Oh my God, thank you so much. Drew Ann's water bottles. All right, I just received my package from Hope, so I'm super excited to open it. Wait, wait. The old Hope Scope merch, oh my gosh. So I got a water bottle. She's never gonna guess what's in this box. Two new hydro flasks. I'm super excited because I left my hydro flask on the airplane. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Oh my gosh, Co, they posted it on their Instagram. <laughs> okay, let's see it. We have some cool music, but I think it might get copyrighted. <laughs> Hope Scope is the best person ever. I'm so happy. Thank you a thousand times. We can't forget Dora's Mermaid Princess Barbie. I also threw some other things into the package so it wasn't as weird. I'm so excited. Dora, I thought your comment about losing your Mermaid Princess Barbie was so funny, but also hashtag relatable. Oh my God, is there a Barbie in here? <laughs> that is so cute. <gasps> Should I name her Hope? Wait, oh my God, it's a mermaid. Jarbox gift card. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute they are. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Okay, last but not least, we have Ashley who got the Louis Vuitton backpack. I was kind of scared to send this one because I know it's so meaningful. So I really hope that she likes it. So I got this package from Hulk. Got a knife. <gasps> Wait, is your knife like a holographic? That's so cool. <laughs> oh, <gasps> no, no, no. Oh my god, I can't swear. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Oh my I'm gonna god, cry. I'm going to cry. Oh my god, Hope. How did you find this? Mm. I hope this is the best gift someone anyone's ever, ever given to me. Thank you so much. Ah! She also sent me the nicest thank you on Instagram, so... Thank you, all of you that participated. This was so fun. <laughs> it would mean so much to us if you hit the subscribe button. Make sure to check out the whole Lost Luggage series, including when I lost my bag on purpose to see if it would end up at the store. I also have Sophia's video that we filmed down below that you can watch, and we will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.